So let's go back to basics and start with who is the responsible person under the legislation. The Regulatory Reform Fire Safety Order 2005, also known as the Fire Safety Order or the RRO, has been in effect since April 2006. And it sets out the definition of the responsible person under Article 3. Under Article 3, the responsible person is defined as, in relation to a workplace, the employer, if the workplace is to any extent under their control. Before we move on to look at the new regulations, one of the other things the Fire Safety Act has implemented is the idea of risk-based guidance. One such piece of guidance is the prioritisation tool. As with all guidance, use of the risk-based guidance and the prioritisation tool is entirely voluntary. However, Section 3 of the Fire Safety Act modifies the Fire Safety Order, making specific reference to the fact that proof of compliance with any applicable risk-based guidance by the responsible person may be relied upon to establish that legal duties were met. It may be referred to and relied upon, therefore, in relation to any legal proceedings concerning an alleged contravention of the duties in the fire safety order. Any risks to residents identified in the fire risk assessment. The fire safety measures provided for the safety of any or all occupants, such as the means of escape, the measures to restrict the spread of fire, and what people should do in the event of a fire. The name and UK address of the responsible person the identity of any person appointed to assist with making or reviewing the fire risk assessment, the identity of any competent persons nominated by the responsible person to implement firefighting measures, and any risk to relevant persons throughout the building that have been identified by other responsible persons in the building. 